Hello, this is John with Michigan Adventure Life. If you enjoy this video of my hike into the Pinckney State Rec area, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can also check out more of our adventures on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by following MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching. All right, 1020. It's time to hit the road. Let's do it. Here we are, the uh, Pinckney Wreck area. Didn't take us too long to get here. A little after 11 o'clock. Stopped for my second breakfast, you know. Gotta make sure you have plenty of food in you for the trail. Think there's gonna be anyone here? Nope. All right, let's go check in. All right, we just got checked in, just parked. Got my bag here. As you can see, we got the place to ourselves. It's not too bad of a day. It's 35 degrees outside. Should be pretty nice. Now we're going to go get packed up and uh, hit the trail. Let's do it. Packed up. We got Wilson. Can we see Wilson? Wilson needs to see what's going on. Where is he at? There he is. Got my rain jacket up there. Kind of tell. I'll see if I can get it better. I don't think it's going to rain, but it's a nice windbreaker. Uh, the campsite is right on a lake, so I'm expecting it to be a little windy. Uh, always better to be prepared. All right, let's hit the trail. Trails have been pretty easy. A lot of downhill, a lot of rocks and stuff. Downhill isn't bad, but it always means one thing. That thing is you're going to have to go back uphill again. So we'll see what kind of hills we go across, come across. So far it's been a pretty nice walk. So at about two miles in, there's this nice little bench. I uh, think I'm gonna sit down here, look around what we got, and have a little drink of water, and continue on. Nice little spot. A lot of real nice little walk-offs like this. Takes you right up to the lake. It's beautiful out. What a nice day. It was just bridge, bridge after bridge here. Each one's more impressive than the last two, which is pretty awesome. You got the road. Right over there, that's good. I think we'll be crossing that shortly. And look at that. Whew. There it is, shortcut trail. Certainly not going down there. Just a nice easy stroll down a road. It's not too bad. Here we are. Made it.
Blind Lake Campground, hopefully. Got a nice wellhead over here. We'll definitely be needing that. Another one of these neat wooden signs. Isn't that cool? All right, let's go check out uh, the campsites. We got one right up here on this hill. I think this is campsite one or two. I do believe there's a, some kind of vaulted toilet here which will be really nice. Oh yeah, nice view of the lake. Got a couple more campsites, uh, we'll go down there and check her out. All right, we just got into camp. Got my bag off, got some water. Got our fire pit. People, uh, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of wood left around, which is always nice. Right on the lake. It is beautiful. But it's a little windy, so we're going to want to get our tarp up. Might put our, uh, put the hammock up right here, right between this tree and this tree right there. It might be perfect. <laughs> but I think first we're going to have some uh, lunch, and then we'll get to that. Old Faithful Tortillas and Tuna Salad and maybe maybe Bell Cheese if we feel like it Whew. It was a nice hike today uh, it was a good temperature the whole time. Pretty, pretty even amount of up and downs, which is always nice. Uh, none of it was too extreme, too difficult or anything like that. Uh, really wasn't super muddy. Uh, my pants have a little bit of dirt on them, but I didn't even wear my gaiters. Glad I didn't need to. Uh, the wind's died down for a minute, which is nice. Hope we can get through this lunch without getting blown away. Tuna's nice because there's a lot of protein in it. It's pretty good for you. Uh, I, I just went with their ranch flavor this time. Do whatever you want. And it tastes really good after hiking for a while. Bell cheese are awesome to take hiking because they come. Nice little paper you can tear away. They come in wax. You can melt down if you need it to. They're pretty tasty and they go nice on uh, tuna tortilla roll.
All right, there you go. Tarp hammocks up. It's not supposed to rain or anything, so it's really more just for the wind. Got this nice piece of log here, holding the front of the hammock down. Everything's tied up with just a taut line hitch. Super easy to remove. Super easy to tie. Uh, that's where my feet are gonna go. So just taut, tied it a little tighter there to help keep the wind out a little bit. But the wind should be just hitting from this back side for the most part. Got the sleeping bag, my ground pads inside the sleeping bag, pillows right there. Should be a cozy night. Uh, so what time is it about? Six o'clock. So I guess we're gonna start processing some firewood, try to get some curls. Uh, we got these nice fire pits here. Should be a nice area to cook our steak on that we got. And See what happens with it. All right. We're going to be splitting some wood, batoning it with the knife just to get a little bit smaller pieces to help get the fire started. Then we'll be doing some curls. Of natural checks to this wood, making it a lot easier. Uh, should be good. Uh, we'll start one of them, do some curls on it. Uh, and then we'll grab some of this other little leaf litter and stuff and we got some nice twigs and small branches over there Should be able to start a pretty easy fire All right, we got it set up. I got a little windbreaker. You can see some little piles of wood And I got my small bunches of twigs and sticks. Let's see if we can get it started. fire. We'll get some ashes or some coals. We might be ready to start cooking. Oh, right, we got our coals ready. We're going to put our grill on, put our steak on the grill, and get cooking. Mm -hmm. 
look at that. Oh yeah. Cooked pretty well actually. A little bit crispy but still pretty medium. Pretty good. in a little bit I'll make some uh, mashed potatoes. Help me stay warm tonight, you know. Alright, so I really appreciate all this wood that I found here, uh, or that was left here for me. Uh, it was a great surprise. I really didn't think there was going to be any. Uh, I'm really happy about it. Uh, but I don't want to just use it and not leave anything behind, so I'm gonna, while I still got a little bit of light out, I'm gonna go collect a little bit more firewood, see what I can find, and also see if there's anything interesting to check out while I'm walking around here. Blind Lake. Time to make some mashed potatoes. Let's boil some water. Our water is coming to a boil. Perfect. So we're just going to add in the potato mix. Oh yeah, look at that. Some mighty fine mashed potatoes. Just boiling up some water just to clean it out now. It's pretty delicious. All right, it's time for the beer of the evening. The mighty moon tower. Latitude 42 Brewing Company. It's a double IPA. Ooh. Ooh. It's pretty good. Just waiting on the last bit of fire to die down before we head to bed. What's the time? It's about 9.15. Gonna go to bed early so we can wake up early. Get a head start on the trail. Alright, I had a great day. But that's about 10 o'clock. It's a good time to head to bed. I want to get up pretty early in the morning. Uh, the wind picked up a little bit. Uh, but I mean, this sleeping bag is real nice. The tarp's helping out. Can't feel it at all. Uh, nice and warm and toasty. And I'm looking forward to a good night of sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, good morning. It's about 9 o'clock. Uh, roughly 20 degrees, uh, allegedly. Uh, it's time to get up. Uh, we're going to try to build a little bit of, build the fire back up a little, uh, so we can boil some water for some uh, oatmeal. Uh, and then we're just going to pack up, uh, get a little bit more water, and hit the trail. Uh, a little chilly out. It's gonna take me a minute to get some clothes on and get out of this hammock though. I'll let you know how it goes. Look at that. Nice and toasty oatmeal. Keep me warm for the hike. Alright, the last 
couple bites here. Not too bad. And there's not much in it, so we're just going to rinse it out with a little water, dump it on the fire, then maybe use my bandana to get the rest out if there is any. I just got the last few items that I'm going to toss in my, or in or on my bag. I'm going to be ready to hit the trail. All right, now you get to watch me uh, make a fool of myself. One last overview of our campsite here. All right, we'll see you guys on the trail. All right, well, we're coming up to the first footbridge of the day. There we go. Every one of them's been pretty impressive with how sturdy they are. Uh, this has got a nice little stream running underneath it, which is pretty awesome. We're coming up to uh, another bench lookout over a small lake or large pond, you decide. But it's going to be a good place for me to, I think I'm going to actually take my bag off, take off a layer or two. Uh, I'm not sweating yet, but I am getting pretty warm. So I'm going to shed a layer or two, uh, try to keep a little cooler. All right, we just crossed the road. This is going to be our... Uh, Next trail here, this is the road that takes us right down to the lake. Uh, Picked Lake or something, I'm not sure on the actual name of the lake, but that's the road that takes us there. But this is the trail we're taking. It is enjoyable walking on grass compared to many other surfaces. It's the right amount of cushion. And we made it. We did it. All right. And there you go. Bags back in the Jeep. About to switch from these boots to some shoes and hit the road. It was a pretty great trip. All right, we're back in the car and packed up. We're gonna hit the road. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, see you next time. Thank you.